Scientists have discovered a new deep sea fish, 8772 Radio U. And it's actually adorable. <laughs> Aww. Most, oh, it is so cute. Most deep sea fish, uh, I'm afraid of the ocean. <laughs> and it's because of the things that live in the trenches. Yeah. The angler fish and things of that nature that are down deep. The blob fish that look frightening. Uh, the big gulper. They look horrible. Yeah. They look like, although in many cases they're very tiny, they still look like you would not want to meet them face to face. I mean, we did a right up my alley about the deep sea mm-hmm. and uh, particularly about the Mariana Trench, which is like the area of the deep, the deepest part of the ocean where Challenger Deep is. And uh, we talked about how the part of the ocean that is the deepest is literally called the Hadal Zone because it's named after Hades, the yeah. underworld. So it's like it already is kind of scary. And everything down there looks like it looks like it would fit right in 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 Hades, <laughs> yeah. but not this newly discovered snailfish, which was just found by an underwater robot of uh, the Monterey Bay Aquarium Research Institute. Uh, put this robot down there, and it found three new species of snailfish. And it, this thing is, like the one that we have video of, is so cute. The eye's a little frightening, but it's honestly like axolotl S. Yes, that's what I was just thinking. It's like an axolotl. So when are we going to see little crochet versions of the snailfish? Yeah. Because this... This is going to sell Snail, well to kids. Snailfish squishmallows. Yes, this is going to sell. I mean, so many kids have been buying those crochet of the little sea creatures. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, they've been very popular because they're adorable, little, little lovable little guy. And that's what this snailfish is. Yeah. He is so cute. I didn't know something so lovable could be so down deep in the ocean. I know. Apparently, uh, I don't know if it's one of these three that they just discovered, but uh, there are other kinds of snailfish as well. There are many kinds. And uh, one of these snailfish species holds the record for the deepest dwelling fish, believe it or not. Wow. Uh, to describe this, I mean, we said it kind of looks like an axolotl. It's got like a big... Uh, it's mostly head. It's a large, <laughs> it has a large jelly-like head. It kind of looks like uh, it's kind of got a tadpole body. Yeah. And then they also say that many snailfish have a disc on their belly that allows them to either stick to the sea floor or hitchhike on larger animals. I wish okay, I had that. That's a little scary, but you can't see the disc in this video <laughs> no, or the pictures. You can't. But a I suction think, cup. That sounds nice. Right. I think the part that makes it cute for me is it's got these massive eyes, mm-hmm. which are like almost like an eye that you would see on a stuffed animal. Right. And then it also They it, are kind of dead, but well, I mean, it, it, most stuffed animals don't look alive. Yeah. Um, also, it does, it's not like it has to see much down there at the right. deep sea. It can't really see anything, I'm sure. It's probably blind like and all the others. And if it could see, it wouldn't want to because it's horrible <laughs> exactly. down there. Exactly. <laughs> not much worth seeing down there. Um, but also, it has this big mouth that almost looks like it's curving up like yeah. a smile. Yeah. So it looks like it's smiling at you. I think that's what makes it. I think it's the the resting smile face. Yes. That it has. So uh, I'm so glad that uh, we finally found something in the deep sea that isn't absolutely terrifying. (laughs)